Hey Agnes, thanks for your request for the doing the Twin Peaks theme song. Um, I think I'd heard the theme song before, but I, like I said, I haven't really watched the show too much, even though I really like David Lynch. Um, so the first thing I, I did was I watched the video you sent with that guy playing it. It sounded really nice. And then I just jumped on Google and <clears throat> Googled for the tab of it. <clears throat> and there is a tab, so I put it in the link. The, to the description, I'm also going to show the parts of the tab as I teach teach it. So the first thing, if you look at the tab, it says open G6 tuning, E, B, G, D, G, D. Um, so a G6 is a G chord with an E in it. So that's what G6 is talking about. So G, B, D, E. That makes a G6 chord. So what you need to do is tune um, this string to D. And I like to use this clear tune app. So the bottom string needs to become D. It's a little bit up. And this one needs to be G. So the A string has to become G. This stays D, G, B, and E. My guitar is a tiny bit out of tune, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, so the way I'm going to teach this is just go through each line of this tab. So there's five, six lines. And the guy in the video you sent me actually keeps going. And I have a feeling he's using there's another tab on Ultimate Guitar. That's a Guitar Pro tab. I have a feeling he got off there. Um, I would be surprised, because he's playing this tab exactly how it's written, so unless he made this tab, I'd be surprised if he didn't figure it out from a tab. Um, all right, so the very first line of the tab, it's just written with single with notes, but if you watch the video, the guy's using harmonics. So with notes, it would sound like. That just doesn't sound like what he's doing. So if you, by just by using your ear, you could tell he's doing something else. What he's doing is he's do, doing harmonics on those frets. So the person who did this tab didn't write to do that, but what you want to do is go. So I don't know if you know how to do harmonics, but you want to take like the soft part of your finger. And most people do harmonics with these, with these fingers more often, but you can do them with any fingers, but you want to take like the soft, like this little soft part of your finger and just lay it on the string. And you want to go right above the fret. So we're going to do it on 12th fret. I would either use my pinky or my a ring finger. So I don't know if I can really show how I'm doing this, but it should be like... Um, <laughs> let's see if there's a way to show this. Like, You don't push down, you just like get it really light. Like just barely touching right above the fret. And right after you hear the sound, you have to lift up. So what you're going to do is go 12-12. And then after you do 12-12, it says 7-7-12. And this is pretty hard to do because you got to make these two harmonics ring out. And this one with your pinky. So I have like calluses on the side of my pinky, so it's a little hard. It's making it a little harder to get that. That one's I'm having a hard time getting the ring out, but what you want to do is hit all three of those with harmonics. So. And then the 12th fret harmonic. So the first measure of the tab should all be harmonics. So I'll do it again. Since I'm having a hard time getting this top one to ring out, the top 12, one thing you could do is just play the beginning of it, the first measure like this. Actually, I think that sounds good. This sounds cooler to get all three harmonics ringing out at the same time. It's just really tricky. So 
So I'm having a hard time, and I'm pretty good with harmonics. I'm just having a hard time. I have to keep practicing this. There we go. It just takes... It's pretty weird. It's a big stretch, and... But if you can't do it, I would drop out the sevens over here and just go 12, 12, 12. Because that's the top note is the one that's really important. Then you, then you hit 12 again. Then you take your ring finger and you're going to put it on 9 on the A string. And then the next 12 is also going to be our harmonic. again so you but this time you yeah then you're gonna do this again um so yeah so there's only two things really happening in the first line so the second measure just to go back to it for a second you put your ring finger on nine and then you're gonna borrow the top two sevens So that's the first line of the tab. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, that 7, 7, 12 is the hardest part, that harmonic. But if you can't get it to ring out all at once, just drop out the 7s and play only the 12. Um, then the next line sounds really cool. The next line of the tab, it goes... And here... He is hitting the open strings. So the next part, no harmonics yet. No harmonics in the bass. But then 12, 12, 7, 12, 7, 12, those are harmonics. So open string. In the video, he does it, like moves his hand around, or you can stretch like I just did. So there's that part. And then you, I like to put my thumb here on two, and first finger on two, and then my middle finger on two. Oops. In the video, he doesn't do that pull off, but the way it's tabbed here would be. So if you can't do it with your thumb, you could do it with three fingers like this. This is a more classical way to do it. And then you do those same two measures again, so I'll do it again, so hit the open A string. 12, 12, 7, then 12 on the B string. These are harmonics, 7, 12, open D, this is D string now, then either a thumb, or you can do it like this on two. So that's the second line of the tab. Um, then the third line is a little tricky. You gotta put your third finger on 10, your first finger on 7, and your pinky on 10. So it's kind of easier to get this set first, then stretch over here, and then you're gonna pick 10. You're gonna pinch 10 and 7 at the same time. It's a really cool sounding chord. Just slide your first finger up for the next measure to eight. And then you go back to seven. So I'll do those two measures again. Then you put your middle finger on a three. So middle finger on three, you hit this with your thumb. Oops. Off either with your ring finger or your pinky. I didn't really hear that uh, high B. I'm just playing it like the tab does, but I hear more like without this extra B. And then again, you got to go to your thumb or like this. So that's that line. The next one, put your middle finger on three again. like that upper B. Then 
then you gotta do this again, these two fingers on 10, first finger on 7, then you gotta go 10-10, ten, ten. so that's 10 on the B string, 10 on the D string, and then back to middle finger on 3. the fourth line so I kind of skipped through some stuff on that line because it was all the same stuff and then the last line so this is definitely different so ring finger on five first finger on three this makes an octave that's on the A and the B string. And then you want this little shape, three and two, is the second measure of this line. Then. And then you do like a get ready for a D chord, but keep your middle finger up. After that, he starts playing something different that's definitely not in this tab. So I'm going to look around because I think this guy is playing it from a different tab. And if I find it, I'll do like an update on this lesson. Um, so yeah, that's it. Definitely the hardest thing is this. The, to actually get those three to ring out. That's really hard and this can be a little hard if you're not used to stretching. technique is a little tricky and this is pretty tricky with your thumb um, but this is a cool really cool song and I especially like this this sounds really interesting chord this is it's basically it's like a D chord but with a G in it um, so anyways if you have any questions about this it's it's kind of a hard one just to teach because it's more advanced so I don't really know like what would be useful um, and then to really master it like that guy does you just have to memorize it because um, to play pieces like this well you have to really internalize it and memorize them so if you have any questions let me know or if you have any other songs you want to learn I'm gonna try to do more lessons again I got a little uh, burned out from doing it for a while but kind of um, want to start doing it again so let me know okay bye